Um, in this video, I'm just going to explain that whole like multiplying by 10 a certain number of times. Um, just showing step by step. I'm not going to do it 23 times, so I chose a lower um, exponent than 23. But when you write a number in scientific notation, this is basically telling you what the math that you need to do to get the number that this is expressing. Okay, um, so really, it, I see it exactly like a math problem. <laughs> okay, T if I were to look at just that 10 to the third, that means I'm looking at 10 times 10 times 10, right? Well, if I'm multiplying by that, that means I'm multiplying my coefficient, or in this case, 4.5 times 10 times 10 times 10. So I'm multiplying 4.5 by 10 that many times, okay? So let's look at my first time. If I multiply this by 10 one time, so this is my first try. If I multiply that by 10 one time, and look, I'll even use my calculator just to kind of give you one more way to see this. So I've got 4.5 times 10, and that gives me 45. Well, if you look here, just like we've talked about, and like most of you should know, um, that we've got the decimal place between the 4 and 5, it moves to the right when I multiply it by 10. So now that decimal place has gone this way, and now I'm left with 45. But that's only done one of my multiplication kind of... Um, Turns, I guess you could say, <laughs> rounds of multiplication. I still need to multiply it two more times. So let's do it one more time. Okay. Right now, even though we don't show the decimal, it technically is here behind the five. So we're going to move it one more time. So that means now I have to have, use a zero as a placeholder. We've got 450. Let's check to see if that is what we get. So I've got 45 already in my calculator. I'm going to multiply that by 10. And ta-da, I get 450. Well, that means now I've done the second one. I still need to multiply it by 10 another time to express whatever my scientific notation um, number is trying to tell me. Multiply it by 10 again. And right now our decimal place is here behind the zero. We need to move it to the right one more time. That's going to give us a second placeholder zero. So now we've got 4,500. And you can throw in a comma if you need to. I don't like to draw commas unless I'm teaching um, how to write numbers in scientific notation from the very beginning. Um, so you saw on the first slide with the Hope Diamonds that I still had my zeros in, but <clears throat> for numbers like this, I normally don't. Okay. Uh, and then this here is my number. That's what I get when I multiply 4.5 times 10 three times. So this times 10 one time, two times, three times gives me this. Okay. Now, you, again, just like I did in the first two slides, you don't have to show this work here. This is to help explain, like, why this is written the way it is. Okay. You could have just as easily said, well, I know that I move my decimal place to the right one time for every time um, that I multiply by 10. So I'm going to move it three times, apparently. One, two, three. Throw in a couple placeholders, and I know I'm writing over this. But you look at just the black and orange there. That's the same thing. 4,500. This is a naked number, but this is just a number to um, kind of use as an example.